Hey everyone, it's me, YD28. Welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Let's Play Pleasant View Season 2. We are here with the Dreamer Pleasant household. That's Dirk Dreamer, Lilith Pleasant, and their happy little family. Um, they moved into this big house. Uh, they've been saving up money. They were in an apartment saving up money uh, from season one. Um, and they had uh, Lysa really early, and it was like, it was hard for them, but they're getting through it. And now they have their second son, or their second child son, Dylan Dreamer. Similar name, I uh, know. And we're all here together. So um, this house has room for us to grow, definitely, I think. Um, there's space. So as per usual, I'm going to take us through a quick house tour. Um, again, the house is not completely finished because, you know, I'm inefficient like that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then reintroduce you to Lilith and Dirk, and then introduce you, reintroduce you to Lysa, and introduce you to Dylan. Or show you how Lysa has grown into a teenager. We've seen her around the town. Uh, you haven't seen Dylan yet, so this will be up first. So, okay, very, very quickly, the house is actually pretty big. And I tried to keep a similar style to what I had done to their actual second apartment. I moved them into a slightly larger apartment when they got pregnant with Dylan. Um, but now we need even more space. So it's kind of gothic feeling as well because Lilith likes deep reds, purples, and um, dark browns and blacks. And um, Dirk doesn't really care. He's like, do whatever you want to the house. I really don't care. Lilith's like, I want it to be like this. It, it feels like what my soul is on the inside. So um, we have this hallway. It's empty. I don't know what to do with this area yet. I think I'll just put like some decorative stuff. Uh, but if you come over this way, this is the dining room. And I kind of took inspiration from like the Sims 4 goth house um, with like random chairs like on the sides and stuff. I don't know. I think it adds something per se. I might not like it later on, but whatever. Um, um, over here is the living room area, and we got bookshelves, a uh, an easel, and the seating, and whatnot. And we're into purples in the living room. Um, the kitchen is orange and blacks, and it's quite nice and lovely. We have like we have decent um, quality kitchenware in here. Uh, the backyard definitely has space for us to grow and expand. You know, we can build like a fence, have it enclosed, make it really, really fancy. Lilith likes fancy also, by the way. she's She wants to look like money, you know? Uh, we come upstairs. It's actually like a, an open loft type thing for the bottom, which I really, really like this. Um, I did not build this house either. This is one of the EA, EA, EA houses, actually, I think. Um, this is Dylan's bedroom. We got orange camouflage going in here um and that's little dylan right there he's really cute um here's the bathroom it's just blacks here's lilith and dirk's a bedroom um reds and blacks totally gothic feeling like i'm getting vampire vibes lilith loves that for sure and we come upstairs to the top floor attic. This is where Lysa is. Her bedroom's pretty small. I might extend it out a smidgen just to give her a little more um, space. But she doesn't mind a small room because she likes to be out of her room all the time. The room is just for sleeping. Um, and for now, um, this is just a workout area. But I might make this like another living room play area. Maybe put games, consoles, things like that up here. Um... A place for like the teens and the kids to hang out and then downstairs is more for like family and stuff so that's the house uh, if you guys have suggestions i'd love to hear them on decorating and like what rooms uh like how did how would you decorate the house let me know i'm excited okay let's reintroduce you dirk is up here talking with lisa holding nothing in his hand right now but that's cool um dirk is a cutie patootie oh my jeez and um, uh, he's a fortune aspiration, as we know. He wants to become a space pirate, and he is in the adventurer career. He works really, really hard. Lilith does not work, so he's the only one bringing in money for us, and it's a good thing he is, because we needed it badly. We have strong relationships with our family, um, working on our relationship with our half-brother, Bill, and um, our half brother and sister um simis and bella they're not like we don't really talk to them all that much um cassandra we're also not too close with i think it's just awkward for dirk honestly but him and dustin still have a strong relationship and we're actually getting pretty close with alexander goth 
Um, I think because we, we must have really connected with him when we had that family party back when we played Lucy and Alexander, which is interesting. I think they might actually be really good friends. Um, we're apparently attracted to Brandy Brooke, Jennifer Burb, and Nina Caliente, as well as um, Caitlin Langerak. Awkward. And he knows a ton of people from going to university as well. Um, so he is a warhead disarmer. Um, few adventurers risk their lives for the good of others like you. Your mechanical prowess guarantees no warheads will go off on your watch. He's in kind of a dangerous, dangerous job. Like, Lilith, it keeps Lilith on her toes. And I think that's why, like, the two of them, they, they just, like, they work really well together. Um, I know some of you are, like, don't see Lilith and Dirk actually staying together, but... As you see, and as I, like, explain their story, and as we play them, I think you'll see that, like, the two of them are extremely devoted to one another, extremely loyal, and they actually do... They're actually compatible, you know? Um, even though... Oh, no, we still have two lightning bolts with her. So, anyways, we need to get a couple more. We have that vacation day, um, but I think he's going to work in an hour or so. That's what he's up to. Um, he's an average cabbage, but he is a... Uh, what is this? A Libra? A Virgo. Oh, he's a Virgo. Um, he's very neat. He's actually quite shy, active, um, kind of serious, but he can be playful and nice. And he's super, super fit from all the working out he does. Um, these are his interests. He's into the tinkering hobby, which is kind of, um, that works. We had a couple fires at our house because Lilith, despite her being a housewife, does not know how to cook. Does not know how to cook, and she burns, like, literally almost every meal she makes very different from <laughs> Angela. Um, he likes a mechanical and good at cleaning, and he dislikes blonde hair, uh, as you can see. Oh, we have one more of these things. Um, let me know, do you think we should get a second aspiration, and what should it be? We'll save that for next time. Oh, he actually has the Golden Skull of Jimbok, liberated from the ancient ruins, discovered just outside River Blossom Hills. Really? Jumbok the fourth conqueror of the ancient regions, Pleasant View and Veronaville, is known as a cruel, loud, and smelly ruler. Nevertheless, his skull, which has been coated in gold and enlarged to enhance its aesthetic beauty, is fitting for any home and inspiring to all. It can definitely be said that standing next to Jumbok's golden skull is better for you than standing next to the conquering Jumbok of old. I don't know what this does. Objects, um, move objects on, but I don't know what the- oh. See? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, let's just put this, uh, we'll leave that for now. I didn't know that was a thing, but that was a fun little backstory thing. <laughs> Anyways, that is Dirk, our good friend Dirk. Here is Lilith looking, um, badass as usual. <laughs> She's a popularity aspiration. She apparently also wants to become a criminal mastermind. That ain't gonna happen. We're just gonna pass that. Um, but, oh, and her and Dirk, of course, went to college. We got the six wands, as you guys know. Um, her relationships are strong with um, her ex her immediate family and her extended family. She's getting close with her father-in-law, Darren Dreamer. And then she has friends um, outside and stuff. Um, her and Dustin solve this attraction, but you can see her relationship is much lower with him. Um, we're actually uh, apparently friends with Cassandra Dreamer, which is really, really cool. That's our step-mother-in-law, um, which is nice. And we have about a zero relationship with Angela. It's not hating quite yet and i don't know if lilith is you know trying to do better by not actively hating her sister or looking for fights i think they really needed the space but she's definitely not going to call her sister at all she's unemployed as i said so she's just been building her skills kind of slowly working on her cooking skill and all that other stuff uh she is a aquarius super sloppy shy very 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 active playful and kind of grouchy yeah it's just not fair these are her interests um she's into sports actually which is fun and yeah she had some fires and whatnot but we're not going to go through all of her memories because who really cares right she's into cologne and the mechanical skill which is why her and dirk get along so so well um she has all of these potions from when she was a witch actually um, and she, too, I think I'm just going to grab that for her, but definitely let me know if she should get a second aspiration, and then we'll do it. Um, yeah, that's our Lilith. She's gorgeous, so I adore her. Um, Lysa is, like, literally, she looks, she has Dirk's features, um, for sure, but Lilith's complexion and Dirk's hair, same with Dylan, um, she's cute honestly she's really cute 
Uh, she has a popularity aspiration. She actually wants to have 20 simultaneous best friends and pets. Oh, no, people. Um, so she likes people, but the funny thing is, is she's not nice and she's super shy. <laughs> so I don't know why I made her a popularity aspiration. I might change it. Um, let me know what you guys think what her um, personality should be. Because she's active and playful. I think that's why I made her popularity. Um, oh yeah, that's why. Because I wanted her to be in the sports career. But I might change her to like Fortune or something, like her father. Um, she and her brother, Dylan, do not get along <laughs> at all, which is so funny. I find um, all these kids, they don't seem to get along with their younger siblings, which is funny to me. Um, but she's good friends with Skip Jr., Katrina Goth, and Bill Dreamer, who is her uncle. Yeah, that's her uncle, right? Uh, and he's only slightly older than her. She just aged into a teenager recently. Katrina Goth is her, I think, step-aunt or something. It gets really confusing, guys. Um, but she does really, really well in school. She's in public school. And I think when Dylan ages into a child, which I think is soon, um, we're going to put them into private school because Angela... Oh, Angela. Oh, bad. Lilith and Dirk do want them to have the best careers. Dirk got into private school on his own. And um, we have the money for it. So, you know, why not? She has a ton of body skill points and a ton of creativity skill points uh, and nothing and anything else, so of course. Um, she is an average cabbage, but she is a Sagittarius, and I just went over this. She's super sloppy, super shy, very, very active and playful and grouchy face. Um, oh, and I wrote a bio for her. Look at me being proactive, guys. Lysa is following the same path her mother did. Will she find her own path or make the same mistakes Lilith did? <gasps> I did some foreshadowing there, right there. I don't know, guys. So she doesn't get along with her siblings. She fights with everybody. Um, and Lilith really does see Lysa, see herself in Lysa so, so much. And I think Lilith wants to really help guide her to make better decisions with her life. Because, you know, Lilith, um, not that she regrets anything she did, but it was hard for her. And she really doesn't want that for Lysa. Um, Lysa's into food. And um, that's it. I mean, team. Same. Same, same, same. <laughs> uh, we don't know what her hobby is quite yet, um, but she's working on a whole bunch of things. Um, who died? Oh, her grandparents. Right. Um, and she's into fitness and blonde hair. Um, right now we don't know. She's not attracted to anyone per se. So we'll work that out. Um, oh, and her... Um, her thing. So I might change this. I don't want to really like assign anything else to this. So let's just leave it. And yeah, that's Eliza. Let me know your thoughts. Heading over to Mr. Dylan. He looks, um, him and Lysa look the same, I think. He looks a lot more like Dirk, I think, um, with just lighter skin. Um, I'm actually also really surprised that they are uh, their skin tones are so light. I thought they would be a little more mixed and um, in between Lilith and Dirk. So I was really surprised that they were so light skinned to me. But Dylan actually is aging up today. He's going to be aging up today. And uh, that's exciting. Uh, he knows nobody else except his family and him and Liza don't get along, as I said. Um, he has a ton of creativity skill points, like almost maxed out. Super, super uh, crazy. And he has the same personality as Lysa, which is, I, I think, why um, him and Lysa don't really get along um, right now. But he likes entertainment and paranormal, actually. And um, we don't really have to go over his memories. So I guess, no, with that said, we'll go ahead and hit play. Um, Dirk gets off at 4 p.m., so that's enough time. At about 4 p.m., we will start the party, the birthday party, and we'll invite our family, I think. Oh, I hope I, uh, oh, you know what I need to check? If I can invite more than two Sims. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna fix that really, really quickly, <laughs> and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, all fixed. Um, and Dirk's carpool just showed up. Um, the kids don't have school today because we actually just moved into this house, like, today. <laughs> I just moved them out, so they're all going to be staying here, which I think is fine. I think is a fine. Oh, I actually need to extend the summer season. Um, so we're going to prolong season for three more days. 
because that's where everyone else is going to be at, and I don't want us going into fall before anyone else. It's the awkward thing, um, when you move everyone, and, like, I need to use this thing more when I move Sims around so that I keep a consistent season throughout the entire LP, because it's, it's not consistent. Yeah, so we'll just, um, we'll just take care of things. I think he is potty trained, so, oh... But his potty is facing the wrong way. There you go, honey. Yeah, he can use the potty himself, and he does need to pee. Or poop. I don't know. Whatever he wants to do. Um, and I think Lilith will um, teach him how to walk a bit um, to get that going. I think it'll be good. And then we'll focus a bit on Lysa, I think. Um, Lysa also wants a pet and i think really they would like a dog but i don't know what kind of dog um we might just adopt though because i mean i like adopting the bad thing about adopting in the sims 2 though is that once all of the pets have been adopted they um there's no more in the adoption area but we might wait until there's like puppies or something i don't want to wait too too long though i kind of want them to get a pet sooner um, but Lysa doesn't want, she actually wants to play with Brandy, which is really surprising, because I don't remember her ever meeting Brandy, and she wants to play with her step-grandma, Cassandra. <laughs> um, also, you can see I'm a bit corrupt right now, which is, um, freaking me out. I really don't want anything to happen, but I can't bring back Darlene Dreamer's urn, and, um, she literally doesn't appear. She doesn't appear at all, and, um, another picture gets put in. I might need, to, I don't know, I need to do something, but if you guys have suggestions, I'm all ears for it. Oh, he's just about to learn to walk, too. Oh, bomb. One more, one more, honey. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, they're so cute. He learned to walk. That's fantastic. Um, and some neighbors have come to greet us. And who came by? Oh, this ravey sea cat guy. Steven Tinker and Malcolm Landgrab the Fourth. Oh my goodness. Talk about a crazy set of people to come greet us. Uh, except Ravi. Um, oh, and she's attracted to Malcolm. Oh. Um, Lilith does not do too well with new people, by the way, but she'll go ahead and serve up, I guess, maybe some lunch meat sandwiches just for these guests, just to get them off our back. You know, Lysa's just painting, not giving a care in the world. She is hungry, though, so, oh, Ras Ravi Sea Cat Guy wants to chat with us. Oh my gosh, she's so funny. Um, so there we go, we're gonna use our brand new dining room. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Lilith is excited to, I think she's also excited to, um, do some hosting. Like, she hasn't been able to have enough people try out, or try out her house, be in her house and have space to entertain them and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and call them to the meal so that they all come eat. And of course she's just gonna leave the whole place dirty and come watch this movie with her guests. Are you literally gonna watch TV from this dining room right here? Is that what's happening right now? Is that really what's happening right now? I don't know what's going on. Um, I think Lysa is going to come upstairs and actually do some working out. And this guy is playing with his logic block. That's good. You need to build some logic points, boy. Get a little smarter. Why don't you? <laughs> Is that rude? Is that really rude? I don't know. But she wants to go on a date. Her and Dirk haven't gone on a date one-on-one -on -one in a long time. A long time. I don't think they've actually been on a proper date. Her and Dirk have never been on a proper date. What? What? How is that a thing? Oh, they're talking about Dina Caliente. I mean, Dina Goth. I need to change everyone's names back to, like, their normal, or their, their post thing. Though I don't think Dina would actually change her name back, but, um, hey Lilith, are we still friends? You know what, Cassandra? We are. I'm actually gonna ask all these random people to leave, because I don't know you. And we're gonna go ahead and throw Dylan's birthday party, because he absolutely 
needs it and Dirk is going to take care of Dylan and to get that going. So let's go ahead. We're going to invite, of course, Lucy, Darren, Cassandra, Alexander. I think we'll invite John and Jennifer as well. Look at him. He wears a fireman outfit to do bomb threats. It's so sweet. Okay. So Dylan is going to go into his crib for a little bit. He needs a quick, quick nap. And then we're going to go ahead and serve some uh, cheese for uh, our guests and also some chip platter as well. You don't need to eat. Look at them all. Oh, my God. Okay. So we're going to come hug Lucy, um, chat with Alexander, and, oh, Dirk, you need to change, honey. Come change into your everyday, and then you can come eat. And then I'm going to grab a cake for... Grab a cake for Dylan, eventually. This is your entire family you need to talk with right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's come hug Bill, chat with our grandpa, um, and chat with our mom's cousin. And I think he will chat with Cassandra. We want to try and get closer with her, so let's try and do that. Oh, look at them slow dancing in the thing. Like, hello, PDA, you two. They make me laugh so much. Hey, is Dirk available to talk? Oh, Dustin, are you upset that we invited you? And Oh, I don't even need a cake now. He's totally going to age up on his own. Let's um, come wake him up, actually. I think I'm going to get a bad score because he's... Uh, no, they're, they're having a birthday party, dude. Okay, dress Dylan in every day. And then let's go ahead and... Oh, did that not work? Um, do I not have aging on right now? That's awkward. Oh, well, we'll go ahead. <laughs> oh, my God. I like how I can put it on the walls. Okay. And then we're going to come bring Dylan to the cake. Oh, good. I like this. Miss such a good picture. This is sweet, though. Look how sweet they are. Lilith is such a good mommy. Oh, did I not buy lights? Awkward. Oh my god. Please ignore me and my, like, crazy, crazy habits. Can you put him down so he can age up, please? No! What just happened? No, 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 no. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Oh, there we go. I had aging off, apparently. So that's cool. That's cool. I fixed it, though. Don't worry. Oh, now we don't get the animation, though. But here he is as a kid. He's so cute. He looks just like Dirk. Oh, my God. Him and Lysa, they look, like, exactly the same. Um, so that's a cool, I think. Oh, he wants to eat cake. Honey, don't eat cake. Um, why don't you chat? I want him to chat with everyone really quickly just so he gets to know them really really quickly and then we can start inviting him to places so that's great i'm really excited about that oh good okay things are going uh going well i think i don't know where our party's ending in 45 minutes and what are we oh we're good friends now with our brother which is lovely cassandra and lucy just became best friends so that's nice Bill Dreamer has a crush on Lucy Burb or Lucy Goth. Fantastic. Um, and him and Alexander, I want them to chat more and be friends. Look at Bill introducing himself to everyone like a good little boy. Okay, but our party is ending now. It was a roof raiser success. So Aunt Lilith, oh my god, how many times am I going to call her Angela? Is very happy about that. So everyone is going to be leaving and we're going to go ahead and... Ew, you nasty. Um... And get ready to end end the part oh my god this is like everyone's feelings right now stop it this girl's face is everything right now um so i'm gonna go ahead and end the part here if you guys are enjoying the series uh, do give this video a fat thumbs up subscribe for more as i put them out fairly regularly let me know your thoughts and comments down below if you have suggestions and opinions recommendations i love to hear them um and yeah i love you guys so 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 very much i will see you in my next video bye guys